In this video, I'll answer the question, why do we walk worse in the winter? Want to hear the answer? Well, then stay tuned, because it starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. It is January in central Ohio, and as you can see, it's cold outside. There's about uh, six inches of snow, uh, there's some ice down on the ground, and I thought it was a good day to talk about why we tend to walk worse in the winter. I have a few videos on the channel talking about temperature-related issues with multiple sclerosis. And I'll throw a link up above in case you want to check those out, and I'll make sure to put links down in the description below. In brief, Temperature can impact certain MS symptoms, and today, obviously, I'm going to focus on what happens in the cold, and specifically, why we walk worse. Number one, it gets dark earlier in the winter. It's not uncommon that I'll get up in the morning and head into work, and it's totally dark outside. And on my way home, it's already dark outside. In fact, in central Ohio, it's dark out about 6 p.m., and you're dealing with a low-light situation when you're not normally during the summer, spring, and fall months. And so this creates a potential risk for falls because we can't see. You see, when we're trying to balance, one of the three sensory inputs is vision. And so low light makes that challenging. Number two, spasticity is worse in the winter. When it's cold outside, our muscles tend to get stiffer quicker. And it's very common that someone with MS who has some mild spasticity during the summer months may really have a stiff leg or may really be prone to charley horses during the winter months. This also has an impact on balance because spasticity isn't just in the legs, it can be in the torso and in the core. And so if you start to slip on ice, God forbid, you might not be fleet of foot and able to quickly turn your body to balance yourself. Number three, you can't see the ground. If there's an uneven surface and it's covered by six inches of snow, you don't know what you're stepping into. And so not only is this a, a risk just for falling, but it makes it harder if you're using your foot for sensory information to tell you where you are in space. Some people with sensory deficits in their feet find that it's hard to walk when it's dark outside and it's hard to walk on uneven ground. And so winter, particularly in the evening hours, is a perfect setup for falls. You may be perfectly fine ambulating with a single prong cane during the summer, spring, and fall, but using that same single prong cane on ice and snow creates a serious problem. And so, in summary, there are some specific reasons why we walk worse in the winter in the setting of MS, and knowing them allows us then to take steps to improve. So what do we need to do? Try to walk on even ground. Try to walk on areas where the snow has been plowed and there's salt down or sand or whatever you're going to use to try to help clear a path. Try to have the area well lit. If you can turn on external lights, great. That's going to help you. Make sure that you're unencumbered. Don't try to balance groceries on one hip and arm and then use your cane on the other. In the winter months, it's better to make multiple trips if you need to. Pay attention to how limber you are or not, and don't be afraid to ask for a hand. You may say, hey, give me your hand and help me get out to the car. I would much prefer you do that than fall. The question of the day is, what do you do to take extra caution in the winter months? Please share with us so that we can all learn, and leave that answer down in the comments section below. My name is Aaron Boster, and thanks for spending a few minutes learning about MS with me. If you like this video and you think you'd like to see other content from me, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. And until my next video, take care.